same rod that you conducted your standard air test with, or you can use a shorter rod as long as it's at least four inches longer than the depth of the mold. You're going to fill the pot in two equal lifts. Again, rotating around the mouth of the mold. We rock throughout the depth. Strike 10 to 15 times with the mouth. Second lift. Penetrate that lift below by approximately one inch. 25 rods. Strike the mold 10 to 15 times. Strike the bar. And clean off all your excess concrete. Ensure that your seal and the inside of your mold are moist. Make sure you've got the top of the air meter seated. Lock it in place. You want to insert your funnel. And you want to add a minimum of one pint of water. After you've added your minimum of one pint of water, you want to add your selected amount of alcohol. The selected amount of alcohol, that information can be obtained from the concrete provider. They should know how much alcohol it's going to take to keep the foam down to a minimum during this air test. Anytime you use more than 2.5 pints of alcohol, you'll have to begin using your correction pack. So you'll add your selected amount of alcohol. Then continuing, you'll add water. Bring the water level up. Move your funnel, and with your syringe, you want to bring your water level up to where the meniscus is at zero. The meniscus is going to be the smiley face that you'll see on the water level, where the water adheres to the sides of the, the neck of the mold. Ensure that your seal on your lid is moist. Tighten it. And this is where the fun starts. You want to invert this mold to 45 seconds. No more than 5 seconds at a time in the air. The purpose of the five seconds in the air is if you keep it inverted longer than that, you run the chance of having rocks lodge in the neck, neck and that will give you a false reading on your air. After you've completed your 45 seconds in the air, taking the mold at a 45 degree angle, you want to roll it with a shearing motion forwards and backwards to try to break loose the aggregate and the cement from down in the base. You want to hear that aggregate rolling around in the base here. 
But you also, as you do it, you want to rotate the meter quarter to a half turn and continue. And you'll do this for one minute. After one minute's passed, you want to open the top. After you've let your air stabilize for two minutes, you want to get your, get your air reading. We're at 5% and a little bit over 1% on our phone, but we're still good on the phone. You want to record that 5% as your initial reading. You want to close the lid. And once again, you'll do your rolling procedure for one minute. 45 degree angle. Listening for that shearing motion. That aggregate rolling around. Quarter turn to a half turn. Again, this procedure is done for one minute. Let your air stabilize. For two minutes. After two minutes, you want to read your air again. We're at about 5.25 percent. Our foam is just right at one percent of our volume there, so we're still good on the on the air. We haven't changed by more than a quarter percent on our air, so we would record that as our set, as our, our final reading. It's 5.25 percent on the air. If your air changed by more than a quarter percent, then you would go through a final, a third and final rolling procedure. If at this time your air doesn't stabilize and it's still greater than 0.25 or a quarter percent higher than your last reading, then the test is invalid. Also, if your foam is greater than 2% of your volume, your test is invalid and you'll start again. With the foam, if you do have more than 2% foam, the next time you do your test, you'll want to increase the amount of alcohol that you use to dispel the foam. You'll want to empty your mold And you want to make sure that you don't have the cement, paste, and aggregate stuck down in the corner of the mold. If you do, if you have any stuck down in here, then you're not rolling it vigorously enough. So the next time you perform the procedure, you want to try to get a little more sharing motion on it. Get that aggregate moving in the bottom of that mold. 